Welcome to my August 3rd, 2017 Daily Tarot and General Horoscope Reading. Now before we get started, I thought it'd be kind of interesting to go through what a North Node is. Because I had mentioned Mercury is trying in the North Node today. And with the eclipses coming up, it's really pertinent to discuss this right now. Because the eclipses do occur by the lunar nodes. Now the August 7th eclipse occurs when the passage of the moon goes through the node at the time of the full moon. And the August 21st solar eclipse occurs when the passage of the moon goes through the node at the time of the new moon. And from the little illustration that I have here, the ascending node is the north node and the descending node is the south node. Now the ascending node, the north node, it's more about your destiny and purpose in life, purpose in your future of your life. And the descending note is where you go no more. This is from your past lives. They call it a gift, but a lot of times things surface that have not been resolved from past lives into your current life. Now they have something called the, the elliptic, and this is the plane of the Earth's orbit around the sun. And you can see that with the yellow circle, or ellipse. Now the moon takes a little different trajectory because its orbit is inclined by 5 degrees. Actually exactly 5.1 degrees. And when they do coincide, and the sun and the moon and the earth are along the same path, we have an eclipse. Now for the north node, it's an upside down horseshoe. And here's the symbol. And it's the opposite for the south node. It's facing up. So it's easy to remember that the north node actually looks like an N. Now here's a little quick illustration just showing you how the earth and the sun coincide on the same plane. And then how the moon and the sun are, are coincided as well. And it even shows Mars. And I'll let it go around twice so you can get a good look at this. And now on with the reading. Okay, and now the overall energy card of the day is the Six of Wands. What an uplifting card to receive. This is bringing a comfort zone to you, like everything's falling into place just the way it should. I don't think that happens often, so I think we should appreciate this. This is a card about victory, but I feel like there's victories, big and small, and all different levels happening. They're just in the works, though. It hasn't quite worked its way through. This is where the cosmos is finally yielding to the inflexible. The immovable is finally movable. And I always think of a mountain when I say that. There is some destiny involved in this because Mercury is trying with the North Node. It's like there's already been a chapter written of what is to be. Uranus is helping us to open these doorways for you to pass through into another dimension, portal. Because Uranus is called the rebel planet, a lot of revolutions start at the time when he's really active. And the word revolution in Latin means a turnaround, which is kind of interesting with all of the things that are happening now with the eclipses coming up. And there's going to be a mix of the past and present, and people are going to be reaping what they sowed. 
This is going to be defining your future path for your long-term goals. Now the Six of Wands is going to make sure that you say the right words at the right time. Because as I said, communication is going to be your vehicle to success. It's like there's a metamorphosis of truth speaking coming out. You'd think people would be institutionalized because everybody's going to look strangely at you if you tell the truth. You know, I was lamenting this morning on an email to a friend saying that the truth has no value. Humility has no honor anymore and there's no boundaries between right and wrong. The world's going crazy. And with Uranus acting up here, we could have a little bit of craziness going on here too. But you know, Mercury is going to carry in some rationality in this influence. But it's going to be more about what people speak to equal success and also the seed sown for the future. There's going to be some kind of elegance of delivery of the messages that are going to make them unquestionable. And do have a good day and I wish you acceptance, peace and happiness.